this video, we are going to be taking a look at every single free item you can get inside a Build-A-Boat. Every single hidden Robux item location, every hidden item you can get as well because there's tons of hidden items you can claim. And in this video, we're going to be going over everything. So in case you did miss an item inside a Build-A-Boat, Watch throughout the entire video because we cover literally every single hidden location. Believe it or not, there's many hidden locations around the map of build a -Boat that have free items. Now, I will say, if you were a newer player inside of build a -Boat, this is for you. But if you've been playing build a -Boat for a while, you probably already have these claimed. This video is more aimed towards newer players who are joining the game and playing it for the first time inside of 2024. Now, also, some of these locations often may change or more of them may get added. But let's not waste any more time. Let's Let's get straight into the first location and I'm going to walk you step by step of how to actually unlock a few of these. So let's first start off with the plushies inside of Build-A-Boat. The plushies are collector's items that are hidden throughout the stages of Build-A-Boat for treasure. And you guys can see we actually have four plushies in total and there's a few ways to get some of these. Now obviously starting off with the most obvious one inside of the game, this way we can just get it right out of the way off the bat. If you actually go to this waterfall right here and you walk through, the secret room spawns in and then you can actually actually claim the yellow red purple blue and then green book that is the bookshelf code and just like this you can actually get the chill thrill 709 plushie just like that for this next one you actually want to go to the arcade stage and this is where the zeg plushie is located but there's another way to get the zeg plushie which i'm going to show you here in just a second but if you actually go to this arcade machine right here you want to try to click this button and try to get this light to stop in between those two red magnets right there that is the goal and you guys can see i just got it but i've already claimed the zeg plushie but that's how you guys do it right there that'll give you one zeg plushie but if you guys didn't know i have four of them now how you actually get the other three plushies you may not even know this exists this is a game called project zeg which is a partnered place with build a boat it's a fan made game but you can actually claim build a boat rewards inside of here there's a bunch of secrets to explore inside of this area but if you actually make your way over to this portal right here it leads you inside of the zeg boss fight now inside of this boss fight i will say it is a little bit hard but after a couple of tries you should be able to complete the boss fight it'll teleport you inside of this place and simply walk through the elevator and click the button and then once the elevator goes all the way up just like this it should open up this door i think we're stuck in the elevator guys oh never mind okay there we go then we're gonna turn left like this and then it leads you inside of this area all you have to do is complete this boss fight and then once you get the badge awarded to you join back in to build a boat for treasure and you should have the three plushies 500 gold and uh yeah yeah, that's pretty much it there are a few other plushies that i'm going to show you later on in the video so stay tuned for those but for now i'm going to go ahead and show you guys this secret over here of how to actually get the free potions because the potions are like literally one of my most favorite items ever so i'm actually just going to park my jet right about here hopefully hopefully it doesn't turn off on me all right don't fall off the map oh he's gonna he's gonna fall off the map isn't it oh my goodness so you want to park your jet or just get right about here oh my gosh okay please jet don't fail me don't fail me anymore please i beg anchor Okay, you know what? Uh, th that should be good. Okay, we're just gonna leave that there. Hopefully nothing happens to it We're gonna fall down here inside of this little area and it's gonna unlock right there the secret room now inside of the secret room You're gonna have to take out this eyeball There's a bunch of different combinations for these berries right here But all you want to actually do is click on one blueberry and you want to take two white berries like this And it's gonna make you the sleep potion once you have the sleep potion made it just equip it like this Go up to the eyeball. He's gonna stare at you. And you're just gonna throw it at him and then he's gonna go straight to sleep and then what you'll actually do from here is walk inside and claim it your potions absolutely for free and you also get the chest as an item now for this next one i'm gonna show you how to unlock the sword the staff and also the bow these three pvp items you can actually claim super easily inside of the game all you want to do is find a certain stage but make sure that you bring a cannon or a hand cannon with you when you do this because you're definitely going to need it or else you're not going to be able to access the area so i'm going to load everything up on a plane here and we're gonna go over and fly to the stage the stage you are looking for is the one that looks like a castle what you actually want to do is when you enter this stage uh, hopefully the music notes don't take me out from this stage oh gosh oh gosh please don't please don't you want to equip your cannon and you want to make sure to shoot that wall right there and then boom like that it's gonna open up this hidden area now inside of here i will say this is probably the hardest one to actually do out of all 
all of them, but you do get a good reward. So upon entering, you're gonna get a sword right here. Now with this sword, you're gonna have to take out a bunch of enemies. But if you do have friends to help you out, this will be a lot easier. But the good thing is you can use wings to fly around and dodge them. And also I believe spike blocks work as well. But there's gonna be three phases of these noobs that you're gonna have to take out, but you do get gold every kill you get. There's three total phases. And after the third phase, then you can actually get all those items completely for free. And I believe I'm on to the next phase. So the next door is gonna open up. Yeah, you guys can see right here, the next phase is activated. And you just wanna complete all three phases. Now I'm gonna show you how to get the golden harpoons absolutely for free inside of the game. This is also, once again, another Robux item that you can't get anywhere else besides doing this secret or buying it inside of the shop for Robux. But why spend Robux when you can just get it for free inside of the game? So let's take our jet. Let's go to another stage and do the secret. So for this stage, you're going to look out for the washing machine stage, which is this one right here. Lucky enough, I have it inside of my server. And what you want to do is actually fly over to this little TV that's over here. Now, when you're here by the TV, all you're going to do is jump out and you're going to click on this remote. There's going to be a button right here that we're actually going to click and it's going to teleport us inside of the screen. And all you want to do now is just survive this little mini boss fight that's inside of the game. This is like one of my most favorite Easter eggs they've ever added. I will say if you're inside of a public server, it may be a little bit laggy. So, I mean, if you can be in a private server for this, it's going to be the best because you guys can see right there the lag on that block. Uh, sometimes it can get ugly. But basically, all you have to do is survive this little boss fight. It takes about three minutes to complete, and you get the golden harpoons absolutely for free. I mean, look at that lag. Look at that lag right there. As I was saying, uh, yeah, try to be on your own server. It makes this a lot easier. For this next one, make your way inside of the neon stage, which has these crystals inside of here, and bring yourself a few cannons. Don't do this with one cannon because it takes absolutely forever. I made that mistake myself, as you guys can see. But once you actually shoot about 10 or 15 of these crystals on the wall it'll teleport you inside of a secret area when you get teleported this is exactly what it looks like just like that all these lasers will go on to you and now you're teleported inside of this uh secret area and this is how you get the portals for free inside of the game. So what you actually want to do is when you enter this area, it's a giant open like crystal cave place. And you just want to go through these portals. Now there's going to be these hidden crystals inside of this portal maze that you're going to have to bring back to the front. Once again, this will be faster if you have friends helping you out. So if you have any friends that are willing to help you out, this will take like three times as fast. But if not, it only takes like five minutes anyway. It's not a big deal. But just bring all the crystals back over to the front area and then you'll get the the portals for free and also you'll get a gold bonus as well and just like that you guys can see dun 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 the chest and also the gold that's how you get portal and as i'm recording this video someone bought me a gift inside a build of <laughs> they gifted me wheels why did you give me wheels i have so many already why thank you for the gift wait i got another one and the Wait, what else did they- Wait, I just claimed another gift and I didn't get anything from it. Wait, what was that? I just claimed two gifts and the second gift never went through. Uh, I think they just got scammed. I'm not gonna lie. What was that? So this next one, I'm going to show you how to get the thrusters completely for free. So what you want to do is once again, bring a cannon with you. You are going to definitely need it. We're going to place this jet down, place ourselves a chair, and we're also going to grab ourselves a cannon. So we're going to take all this stuff and we're going to... Wait, bro, what in the world? What is someone building over there? Oh, uh, I don't even know. But we're just going to take this and we're going to fly to a very, very far stage that should spawn in. Hopefully. Hopefully it doesn't despawn because it took me like 20 minutes to find it. But you know, it is there. Oh, there's two of them oh there's two of them right now i gotta show you guys both of these quick because there's two locations right now okay so this first one how to get thrusters i'm gonna grab myself my cannon go inside of this stage now what you want to do is shoot this wall that's right there boom just like that and then you just go in there claim the chest it's literally that simple it's like this go in there claim the chest okay you guys see how to do it i don't want to spend too much time on it because it's super super simple so we have that that gives the thrusters. And then if we actually make our way over here to this stage, we're going to need a cannon once again. We're going to take this cannon. We're going to activate it. And we're going to shoot this hut right here. We're going to go like that. Boop. Just like that. There we go. And then this will actually unlock the worthy one plushie. Uh, because I did say I was going to come back to the plushies. And here I am. We're back. Here's the worthy one plushie. This is how to get it inside a build about once again. Don't mind if I do. How to claim the neon blocks. Just go to the Wild West stage like this. And then simply walk through the cave. There's going to be this hidden cave on the top of the stage. And you literally... 
literally just walk over and claim the chest and you get 30 neon blocks just like that which by the way is literally the most expensive block inside of the game not item but block i mean this thing's 300 robux for 100 of them i mean this thing's crazy but i think we went through pretty much all the hidden items but there's actually still one more stay tuned we're, we're missing we're missing something right now we are definitely missing something i forgot about a very very important secret in fact probably the biggest secret inside of the game i shall say not the army battle secret but it's actually inside of one of the stages we're actually gonna fly over here and we're going to make ourselves over to the clock tower stage if you guys don't know about this secret basically what will happen is at the top of every hour so uh, like 1 p.m 2 p.m 3 p.m 4 p.m 11 a.m at the top of every hour where the dot the clock says zero zero this door will open up on this clock tower and there's gonna be a lever inside of it and we click the lever and we go underneath the stage you guys will see here in just a second but it only lasts for like five minutes so you have to do this quick which it only takes like 10 seconds but you you get the idea all right you guys can see right there the thing just opened up we're gonna click on the lever and we're just gonna drop down here and i just stole someone's chair that fell i just oh my goodness all right anyway you guys can see the chair made it down we're all good and right here is the Fabby plushie. This is how you get the Fabby plushie inside of the game, inside of this wonderful area, inside of build a for treasure. So that's how you get that. There's still one more that I have to mention as well, is the cake block. Now, the cake block, it technically isn't really even obtainable. I mean, it is... If you play build a boat to do your Roblox account anniversary, you get 10 of these added to your account. There's no codes or anything inside of the game like that that have it. You can't buy it inside of the shop. It's not in any chest. Literally, the only way you can claim the cake block is by playing build a boat for treasure near your Roblox account anniversary. So for those of you guys wondering how to get the cake block, that is pretty much the only way. But be sure to drop a big thumbs up and make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys all inside of the next one. Peace out and goodbye.